this med mastery lesson, we will learn how to assess the right ventricle using handheld echocardiography. During the course of the COVID-19 clinical syndrome, disseminated microthromboembolic phenomenon has been described. When these occur in the pulmonary vasculature, these clots can result in pulmonary embolism. Focused right ventricular assessment of a patient with COVID-19 will typically demonstrate right ventricular dilatation and signs of right ventricular strain. This results from an increased right ventricular afterload and increased pulmonary vascular resistance. Acute pressure overload states due to pulmonary emboli are poorly tolerated by the right ventricle. Right ventricular systolic function, together with characteristic interventricular septal motion and inferior vena cable dilatation, are key features to assess in a patient with COVID-19. Increased right ventricular pressure overload can be qualitatively assessed by the motion of the interventricular septum, which may exhibit the paradoxical septal motion. As a consequence of pressure overload, since the interventricular septum is a shared structure, the left ventricle may show signs of underfilling as the heart contracts in a confined space. This reduced left ventricular filling may result in the left atrium and left ventricle chambers appearing smaller. Conversely, due to the increased right ventricular afterload, right atrial pressures increase with resulting tricuspid regurgitation and a dilated, non-collapsing, inferior vena cava. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.